Display resolution is the amount of pixels or picture elements on the screen and it's measured horizontally by vertically. The more pixels that can be used on the screen, then the bigger the desktop becomes and a user can fit more windows on the display at that point. And display resolution is also known as pixel dimensions. An example is 1920 by 1080. That's 1920 pixels across or horizontal by 1080 pixels up and down or vertical. And that's also known as 1080p or your standard high definition video. A lot of televisions will use that resolution and you'll see that in a lot of videos. But if you're working on a computer, you might use a slightly different resolution such as 1920 by 1200, which uses a different aspect ratio. And you can view this in Windows and make modifications if you wish. We can go to the control panel. And by the way, if you go to the control panel and you see everything in category mode, you might sometimes say, wow, where is the item that I'm looking for? Well, if you want display, you'd go to hardware and sound, and then you'd go to display here and adjust screen resolution. But sometimes one of the things you could do is you could change the view from category to either large or small icons. And when you do that, you get all the individual utilities that you can modify. For example, display. So we can click on display and then go to adjust resolution. And the super quick way to get there is to just right click on the desktop and select screen resolution. And you can see I have two monitors here. It's a multi-monitor setup. And this one here is set to 1920 by 1200. But I have a second monitor and it's actually what I'm capturing off of right now, which is set to 1280 by 720. And that's 720p high def, but a lower version of high def compared to 1080p. So different resolutions here, and this is where you can make the modifications. The native resolution is important. That's the resolution that the monitor works best at. And an example of that would be the monitor that we just showed. The native resolution for this monitor is 1920 by 1200. That's the recommended one. So that is the native resolution. That's what it's meant to run at. You want to make sure that your video adapter and your monitor are uh, compatible as far as resolution goes. Sometimes a video adapter can support a higher resolution than your monitor. And when that happens, you might get some interesting things happening on your display or no display at all. So you want to make sure that your monitor and your video card are compatible and are working at the same resolution. Here are some other examples of display resolutions. VGA, the old school 640 by 480, that's the video graphics array. And this is the original resolution for computers, but it's also the fallback. If your computer fails, if your video fails for some reason, you can always fall back to VGA mode and go into safe mode or, you know, different types of ways to get to this. But your display will be 640 by 480 and there will be no special drivers for the video card or for the monitor. So you can solve video problems in that basic mode. Then we mentioned 720p, which is 1280 pixels across by 720 up and down. And that's a really common resolution right now for say YouTube videos and the video that you're watching right now. Then you have uh, more powerful resolutions. I mean, it keeps going and going. One example is WQHD wide quad high definition and that's 2560 pixels by 1440 and this is a high definition but it's known as quad high definition and this is a uh, native resolution for a lot of the newer bigger ips panels or ips uh, lcd displays like 27 inch or higher uh, video renderers and audio editors request this type of screen, a 27 inch screen IPS panel. So it has good color uh, reproduction and good viewing angle, but also that really big resolution so they can fit a lot of stuff on the screen. You know, they might be uh, editing a video that's shot in 1080p. And so you really don't want to run your monitor at 1080 or 1920 by 1200. You want to have an even bigger resolution. You want to have that wide quad high definition 2560 by 1440. So there's some other examples of display resolutions. 
And in Windows, it's really easy to modify. We were already in the screen, and all you have to do is select the monitor you want, click on the drop down menu for resolution, and then drag the slider to what you want. So, for example, if on one of my monitors I need to record a screen capture at 1280 by 720, I would set it to that here and apply that. And then you have to agree to it, you have to OK it. But, you know, you got to remember all these resolutions here that are listed may work on this monitor but they're going to look weird because they're going to be skewed. They're going to be stretched or compressed. The native resolution is the one that fills the whole screen and is showing exactly what it's supposed to show in the right aspect ratio. And so for this monitor, that's 1920 by 1200, which is recommended. So that's a little bit about uh, resolution. And that's the end of this sub lesson.